Tripoli, the capital of Libya, is now free. After 42 years of dictatorship, its citizens are beginning a new chapter in their history. The revolutionaries are celebrated as heroes. Gaddafi is only depicted in cartoons. A handful of policemen try to introduce some order in the war-scarred capital. But many former rebels are reluctant to put down their weapons. The Swiss Embassy, the new home of Swiss Ambassador Michel Gautré. This is my lounge at the moment. Together with the bedroom, this makes up my apartment. It's two floors above the office. We did this because the ambassador's residence isn't fit to live in. It was broken into and badly damaged. For months, this was the refuge of Swiss businessmen Rashid Hamdani and Max Goldi. They were here in response to the temporary detention in Geneva of Gaddafi's son Hannibal in 2008. He was accused of mistreating his servants. Ambassador Michel Gautré wants to put all this behind him. He plans to organise seminars here to help Libya to develop. We mustn't keep looking back and moaning. We must move forwards. At the end of the day, it was a blip in what was otherwise a long and healthy relationship. Michel Gautré was formerly ambassador to Kuwait, Qatar and Bahrain. He's not worried about the situation in Libya. I'm very happy here. I prefer this to when everything is ticking over nicely, like in Europe or other countries where society is well ordered. I like the idea of starting at zero. There's something exciting about it. Libya's financial centre. Billions were made in these towers for the Gaddafi clan. The ambassador has a meeting with the president of the Libyan Business Council. He's also new to his job. His predecessor supported Gaddafi. Oh, please. After Hannibal's arrest, the Libyan authorities took measures against Swiss companies in Libya. The ambassador now wants to restore healthy trade relations. I think all the ingredients are there to do more than we did before. We just have to get started. It's not like a magic potion where you can throw a few things into a pot and stir them up. We'll have to see how it goes. The Libyans are putting their faith in the new government and transitional leader Mustafa Abdul Jalil. Ambassador Gautre has a special audience with him. Maybe we can help Libya with certain election laws, the reconciliation, and with observing elections. Anything to do with the constitution where we have expertise. After the meeting, the leader described his vision of the future. We will build our own future, as it suits us, not how other people want it to be. We have our own culture, and with a bit of help, we will create a democracy in line with modern Islam. For the first time in 30 years, members of the former opposition party, the Libyan National Party, are able to meet in public. All the people in this room have been working underground for years. Today, they're electing a new leader. No one knows much about voting procedures, but they managed to work it out, and soon the party has a new general secretary. This is the best moment of my life. I never thought I would live to see this day. To get elected without even risking my life, it's fantastic. They're all hoping that the blood of the freedom fighters was not shed in vain.